guess who's back? <laughs> it's me. I'm back in the office, uh, sitting here with my books in my office back in Raleigh, North Carolina. Thank you so much, uh, Upper Room members and friends who call from all over the country. Uh, members, I tell you, I tell people all the time that I pastor the greatest congregation in the world, the members of the Upper Room Church, and I have some fantastic friends who were concerned and prayed for us, for Pamela and for me, that the Lord would watch over us and, and give us a safe trip back to Raleigh, and we, the Lord did, just that. The leadership conference last week in Albuquerque, New Mexico was awesome and uh, as you know, we got caught in the storm. We flew out of Albuquerque and flew into Dallas and, uh, and we stayed in Dallas for a couple of nights and ended up preaching at Greater Harvest Church of God in Christ where the pastor is the one and only Bishop Corby Bush and we had church in Dallas yesterday. Pamela and I, we rejoiced in the Lord and the Lord blessed us to fly back on Sunday night. And so here I am on Monday uh, in the office getting ready for the special service tomorrow night. I'm glad that the members, I'm glad that the saints who are watching this made it through the storm. You know, at least 20 lives were lost. And uh, we're praying for those families and those people, even though we don't know them. Uh, God, God is good. The Lord watched over us and didn't let it happen to us. And uh, so we thank the Lord for his goodness, his kindness, and his, his tender mercy. And we pray God's mercy and grace on those who suffered uh, the loss of, uh, of uh, not just loss of, of power, but there were people who lost their lives. And we're praying for those families. Now tomorrow night, we're having a special service, and God's going to bless us real good. But before I talk about that, and while I'm about out of time, I want to tell you, I thank you for uh, going online and, 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 and sending your tithe. We did it, and many of you uh, joined us in, in sending your support because you realize that even though inclement weather does happen, the work of the ministry, the needs of the ministry uh, still go on. And I thank you for being responsible, a dutiful uh, a saints who love the church enough to make sure that the uh, that the commitments and that that the support uh, is is in. But tomorrow night, I will be preaching in a rare Tuesday night service. And yes, we will have Thursday night service, but this coming Thursday night, Thursday and Friday, I will be preaching in Las Vegas, Nevada. And actually, I'm preaching at a, con a convocation, but they've asked me to do uh, two nights. So anywhere I preach for two nights in a row, it's a revival. And we're going to have church in the name of the Lord. But I look forward to your meeting me here at the upper room tomorrow night since I didn't get a chance to preach here at the upper room a uh, Sunday and of course last Thursday night we were at the leadership conference I want you to meet me here at the upper room. There is a word from the Lord. There is a blessing from the Lord and God is going to bless us real good. So tomorrow night Upper Room Church of God in Christ. I look forward to seeing you. I love you. May God's choice blessings be yours. And listen, isn't it amazing? We should praise God. I said it before. When the weather is warm, don't join in the crowd of these people. Everybody going, oh, oh, it's warm weather. And, and you're afraid to enjoy a mild winter for fear that it's global warming. So I guess we need to, 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 to change cars. And I guess we need to, to uh, 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 go to solar power and do this and do that. The truth is, saints, what we need to do when the Lord sent us fair weather is to thank him and, and live holy and, and walk upright. And appreciate God's blessings. And then when the storm comes, we thank him because he's God. And he sends winter and summer. He sends hot weather. He sends cold. He's the Lord. And he's in charge. And I'm learning uh, as I grow that you have to submit to the will of the Lord. Trusting God is this. Trusting God is telling him what you want. Praying to him in the name of Jesus. Making your requests known unto him. You know, the Bible says that we're to make our requests known unto the Lord. The scriptures doesn't say that we're to make our demands known unto the Lord. You see, we can't demand anything. I heard someone tell the Lord one time, God, I won't take no for an answer. Well, what if the Lord says no? What are you going to do? Beat him up? 
<laughs> What's going to happen? He'll no longer be God? No, we got to know how to trust God and to ask him for what we want and then trust his answers. And whatever he says, we go along with him because he's God and we're not. I'll see you tomorrow night at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ.